We are back with the investigation into the death of one of the most endangered animals in the world. Last week, a North Atlantic right whale was found dead off Mother's Vineyard. Scientists now say the whale suffered from chronic entanglement. NBC 10's Monica Medea has a closer look at the effort to save the species and their special significance to the state's native people. Whales in general, we consider them our relatives. That's why when a young female right whale of reproductive age washed up on the shores of Martha's Vineyard last week, the Wampanoag people were devastated. They're beyond critically endangered, truthfully. Uh, you know, in our eyes, um, they were crit critically endangered a long time ago. This relationship so entwined the right whale is depicted on the Wampanoag tribe of Gayhead's flag. So when scientists needed space to perform the necropsy on the whale, it was moved to tribal lands biologists from a variety of organizations ultimately determined rope deeply embedded in the animal's tail led to her poor health and death. For North Atlantic right whales, we are seeing premature deaths. They are far and few between deaths that are natural causes. We're seeing deaths attributed to two things, um, entanglements in, in fishing gear as well as vessel strikes. This whale, identified as a calf born in 2021, was painfully entangled most of her short life. She was first spotted in 2022 off Canada's coast and a year ago in Cape Cod Bay. They did everything they could. Um, but couldn't help her. And, and that was really painful to know that she was in trouble that long. IFAW reporting since 2017 that nine right whales have been reported dead due to entanglement, a troubling trend considering there are only about 350 left in existence. There is certainly hope for this species, but without concrete action for further protections, whether it be regulations of gear and higher enforcement of those vessel speed rules, the species is going to continue to have to fight to survive. And we really need to do our part to save them before it's too late. Right now, annual speed and fishing restrictions are in place along the whale's migration route in the Atlantic. It's their calving season, and 17 baby right whales were spotted so far. Everybody did their part. And, and we were able to take care of, of this relative. You know, um, um, it's not something that we wanted to do, it was something we were responsible for. Monica Medea, NBC10 Boston. The Wampanoag people plan to use the whale's skeletal remains for cultural and educational purposes in hopes that positivity can come from this tragedy.